Hello everyone, I thought I would do a proper channel update and tell everyone about the classes that I have planned for 2016. So this is actually kind of me treating this as a channel now. Originally it was just a place to archive classes that I taught on um, Google Hangouts on Air. But Google Hangouts on Air caused a lot of dead time just because of how it recorded and how it worked. Now that we can do streaming, and now that I actually have an editing workflow that works for me, I'm treating it more as a channel. So just a brief review of how the classes work. They are announced on this channel, and it's usually um, some morning of some weekend day, so Saturday or Sunday. Um, they are broadcast on my stream. And there is a link below and there's going to there's a link on my channel page if you want to see where my stream is. Uh, and really all you need to do to attend is just show up at the right date and the right time. And uh, please make sure though that you have everything set up. The classes are uploaded within the next week. I cut them up and I break out places where I'm talking to people on chat or debugging some things, all the boring stuff. So usually when the class is done it's about two hours altogether, but attending the class is usually around three hours. So the classes. In January 2016, I taught Introduction to Python 3. Uh, the video is right there. I am going to chop it up at another point um, because I want them all this year to kind of match, but right now it's just a two hour big class. In February, I taught Flask, which is a micro framework, and the class is uploaded, and you can see the playlist there. Now coming up. This weekend, on the 20th, I have an Introduction to Django course. Um, down below, you can learn everything you need to know about the course, what you need to have installed or set up. In April, I want to teach an introduction to the Unix command line, so getting around, installing stuff, setting up an environment properly, and some useful tricks. This will cover any Linux operating systems, so Ubuntu, Mint, you know, whatever you use. It'll also cover Mac, um, since Mac is a variant, and I will go over some tricks that are only on Mac, so this will not cover Windows, however. In May, I'll be teaching the Django REST framework, which is great for creating APIs. We'll set it up together, we'll create an API and some custom views, and I will show you some great things that you can do some really painless documentation. In June, I'll be teaching an introduction to Git and GitHub. So checking in your code, committing it, uh, branching and forking, rebasing and merging, and also some helpful tricks and some things you can do with GitHub that are not well publicized but are pretty cool. In July, we'll be going over the basics of HTML and CSS. This is going to be a very basic beginner course. Um, we'll be going over HTML5, what's new, how to use CSS, also how to use Bootstrap, and where you can learn more. This is an important lead up to the next class, which will be in August, and it'll be JavaScript, an introduction to JavaScript, and it's going to be the basics. We are starting from zero, so if JavaScript has always confused you, this is a good class for you to attend. We'll go over the basics, organizing your code, some of the tools that are out there, and how you can go forward. Now, here's where it starts to get a little fuzzy. These are classes that are coming up that I've never taught, so I don't have outlines. They may be dependent on me getting input from colleagues, and I may just change my mind and not do these. Everything before now I actually have outlines for. Everything after this, we'll see. So I would like to do a class on testing in Python, like why would you do it, what kind of tests are there, what kind of stuff do you test, and tools to do testing. In October 2016, I would love to do a class on Pygame, because I really love Pygame and I think it's a lot of fun, and it's a little, you know, it can be a little silly, but I do love using it. So getting up and running and getting a person moving around and making noise, um, and also some fairly cool free game resources. In November of 2016, I would like to do a class on databases, basically using SQLite and Python together to teach how to use databases, which I think is kind of a useful thing for any developer to know. In December, there'll be no class because cookies have to get made sometime. 
So if you have any suggestions or any questions, go ahead and ask. You can let me know in the comments or you can tweet at me at kcunning. And thanks for watching. Bye.